Hello survivors, I'm Survival This, and welcome back to Carnivores the Middle Islands, where we have just been blowing right through the game with like how easy points come in. I think we are kind of at the point where, um, I think we're still using the heavy machine gun, taking double ammo. And I think we're at the point, we're still just trying to get these guys down for the most part. Like, once we can get a few more points up there to get the X-Rifle, I think then we'll be able to start going after, like, the Sukumimus and the Alamosaurus. And then, yeah, like, this is just... It's so weird to have carnivores going this fast as a series. Like, it's ridiculous compared to some of the other ones. This almost reminds me of uh, Carnivores Far North, but Far North still had a bit more of a gradual kind of build up through it. Warning, boss. Use semi higher your semi heavy firepower. Okay, yeah. We encountered one last episode. Um geez, the expo just like looks at nothing now, doesn't it? Like it's the weakest weapon I think. Oh, well, actually it's a bit stronger than the rifle, surprisingly enough, but Oh, the sniper rifle's actually the weakest weapon in the mod. Yeah, everything's looking good, so we're just going to hop in and probably try to get two, maybe even three hunts done. Maybe just two, because there's a little bit of a technical issues at the moment, so... It's not as easy to capture carnivores until I get a little bit change up, but I'll get into that in the hunt. Let's just hop in and get to a brand new episode. Okay, so we're all loaded in here now. Okay, so that's the machine gun to start with. Yeah, so what's basically happened, the technical issues is, I have a two monitor set up for my computer. Unfortunately, one of those died. So, I don't have a second screen I can monitor the captures with, so I'm just kind of like, instead of having the back and forth, it's mostly just forth. I do have a new replacement on the way, but just because I do, like, I don't do a lot of stockpiled footage, you guys. I was going to say that, but it depends on the series. Monster Hunter Rise, I have all kinds of footage stockpiled for, but when it comes to things like more mainstay series that all go up at 1 o'clock, I usually don't have that much I, uh, like, stockpile things for. I try to keep it all... If you guys comment on a video, then generally you will see the comments either, like, questions addressed, feedback taken in, for the very next episode of the series. So, that's why I have... They're kind of tight recording. Like, times and that. It's kind of... It depends how much I really want to get into that. I think for now, though, I'll probably just focus on... Going after a few dinos, see what we can take down this episode. Should come across something that gets ticked off and probably coming in after us soon enough. Well, I say that, though, sometimes I've had very bad luck when it comes to, like, the spawns of whether things will actually, like, be on the map or not. Yeah, case in point, this might be one of the longer times we've been on a map before we've seen, like, anything on the... around us. But anyway, it should only be like a few episodes of a certain series that you'll kind of see that uh, the issue with the no monitor or having one of the monitors gone. That'll all be resolved in like just a couple of days. I'm just waiting for it to arrive, really. Oh, come on, is there nothing out here? And that is one thing about these maps in Mill Islands is because they're so flat and kind of sparse. It's a lot of just walk and walk and walking without much change of scenery or that. I don't expect we would have had something like come out of the distance after us by now. I guess maybe I should have just left the roster more contained to certain animals. Hmm. 
Yeah, like I have had nothing after us. Okay, well I guess I'm going to try working our way north. I think there's a second bur Oh yeah, there's another land bridge. Yeah, scare the crap out of all you little guys. Okay. Head back across the way and then I guess we'll try going over to... Maybe we'll even try heading up to the volcano area. We haven't actually seen that on the map yet, so it might not be a bad idea just to take a little bit of time to sightsee our way up to it. Oh jeez, come on. There we go. Little Aerodromius that, surprisingly enough, Second time we've come across the Almasaurus in, uh, the mod. There we go. Now, it'll be interesting to actually properly have you on the roster to be hunted, but... I'm surprised at how good the eye texture is compared to, like, the rest of him. It's really... It really stands out. But so far, one animal from the roster, the other one was just, uh, happenstance, really. Okay, so now I'm going to work our way up to, uh, the volcano area, just because we haven't seen it yet, and then, I mean, basically we can put this map to rest and move on to the next, or... Maybe we'll look at trying to get some more points first. Just because the maps can take a little bit out of your total, just to, like, be selected. That's actually something I find kind of weird about Carnivore's mods. It's not like the maps really give you better opportunities for hunting or, like, change things up all that much, yet they still are some pretty heavy point sinks from time to time. Okay. Oh, well, it looks like we got everybody kind of around here. No, oh, you know what? Let's just use, try the expo. There we go. Yeah, let's save the rifle for like long distance shots for like the Protoceratops, the Rinchenia, and then these little Kentrosaurs out here. Alright, just the top of Jara. Like, oh, you're actually using the land bridge. I'm surprised at that. There we go. Okay, so that was the rifle completely used up, but we do have the heaviest hitter that's the heavy machine gun with us, so we shouldn't have any problems, really. Alright, just more ambient animals. Okay. Ooh, this is actually quite the long trek out to the other island. Yeah, nobody coming over there for us. Okay, so, let's see, is there actually, like, a volcano, or is it just kind of like a weird ridge line? Should be seen... Ah, oh, actually, yeah, it's gonna be a while before we're actually on there. Oh, there's more you guys. Oh. Oh, actually, I'm surprised to see that it is, like, a snowy terrain here. Oh, and it does go up into, like, a hill area. Okay. I don't want to get too close. Oh! Buddy! How you doing? There we go. Just didn't want to die to a little seal physis after everything we've gotten so far. That was actually kind of close. Stupidly close, but... You know, to see about going up towards... I... Oh, that's the thing. 
I should be safe up here, but then again, with the age of the mod, it might be a bit dangerous. And because of how quickly it your health... Well, I mean, I call it health, but it's like a... Almost like your breath. It's weird. Yeah, I think this is as close as I'm going to get, just because... It's like the electric tree in Carnivore's Genesis. You think you're okay to get within certain distance, and then it turns out, yeah, no, no, you were not. We'll try. Uh, how am I sitting? Oh, Jesus, has been like a super fast hunt already. Oh my God, you guys! No, actually, I don't even have a way to really deal with you without using some good ammo. I was going to say, maybe I'll just take some of them down to quiet them up, but I don't actually have the ammunition to kind of be, like, tossing around like that. But then again, you know what? Since we have come up all the way here... Oh, I'm pressing some of the wrong buttons. My apologies. Yeah, let's end this episode and... Well, not this episode, sorry. End this hunt, and then we'll go to a brand new map. Or maybe new animal. Okay, so we're back in the roster, and yeah, so let's take these guys off. That would be the Sukumimus I've got unlocked, so... Oh, jeez, yeah, see, like, look at how much points you have to sink into the maps. Oh god, Nightmare looks atrocious to try playing if it is something like every texture's inverted, but... Um, yeah, we'll take the rifle... Yeah, well, the rifle's zero, so there's no point not to take it, really. And we will take the Expo, because it wasn't too bad for, like, the Nano Tyrannus that was close enough, so... And maybe what we'll do is we'll go to Ancient's Foot instead. Go back to one of the other maps, so everything's looking good. We'll hop in for this new hunt, and then see... how the points are shaping up from there. Okay, so we're loaded in now, and... Just want to take a quick look. Okay, it looks like we're safe right now. Oh, we're actually right by the big footprint, too. Just going to run our way over to there. Now, I don't know how fast the Sukumimus might be. Oh, well, before that. There we go. Just stop you before you get in too close. Yeah, the Sukumimus are going to be like the new unknown. The Nano Tyrannus, I could easily use the Expo with just like a few accurate shots to get them down, or even the rifle. But it's really all kind of depends on how fast the animals are. Oh, hello. You guys are even in the footprint. Wait, how are you in the footprint? I guess they're partially amphibious. Oh, I hear you. Actually, you're kind of a fair-sized Coelophysis. Okay, you know... Oh my god, shut up. Thank you. It's the nature's mute button. The gun. There we go. So that quieted him down, so we don't have to hear him screeching like all heck for the next while. Surprisingly enough, hasn't pulled in anything else from, like, all the sounds of us doing that. So I think what I'm going to do is use the trick again to head to the river. We can use that as sort of, like, a backdrop that'll give us a bit of cover. Just as we go exploring and trying to find some more animals. It would be a fitting place to find a Sukumimus, given they are... Oh. Let's see, it's Piscine, so Piscivore? Or Pisivorous? Basically fish eaters. But yeah, with how this mod's been going... Like, it might actually be the longest thing to, like, take to get the points up for will be to show off all the maps. Weapon-wise, again, we are very high up there. I think we've only got a couple of weapons still to kind of see. Really? There we go. Yeah, this one's been definitely a Seal of Isis heavy one so far. That's our third one before we've seen anything else. I 
does make me curious about where Suko might be. Okay, you guys just quiet down, please. Thank you. At least I'm pretty sure it's those guys making those loud cries. Why am I so accurate when it's just the ambient animals? Yet when it comes to the, like, true trophy animals, my accuracy is usually absolutely atrocious. Oh, Lord. Talk about, like, biased aim, or... Oh, never mind. I'm still atrocious of a shot anyway. I guess I just had a lucky streak there. Yeah, like, even with all that, no signs of anything. What the heck is going on? Oh, I think that's just one of the bob and... Yeah, that's just the bob and pear that we found in the other episode. Yeah, we'll call them Bob and Rob. Yeah, we'll see them in a few more episodes as we're back, possibly on this map. You're Bob, and you're Rob. I'm trying to remember that. Like, seriously, where the hell is everything? I didn't even get a reply from the Sukumimus call. Like what, everything spawned as a seal of physis, or...? I mean, we're basically at the very tail end of the map here, so I guess we'll have to go over the other side and see. I was expecting a bit more action on this hunt than the other one. I mean, I guess in some ways we did get that with the three seal of physis, but... What is going on? Oh, okay, so we got a Suko reply. Okay, oh lord, he's... Okay, he's a big one. The Sukos are big ones in this mod. Because, like, he... Yeah, he's having a hard time with the trees. Oh. Not as much health as I was expecting on him. I thought he'd be a bit harder to take down, but, like, a few peppers from the rifle and... Huh. He does seem faster than some of the other animals, but... Yeah, was not expecting that quick to go down with the heavy machine gun. And the heavy machine gun isn't even, like, the most powerful weapon in the game, either. Like, I... was it the third most powerful? I think, well, the scope missile launcher, or basically the nuke flinger, because I've heard it is ridiculous how strong it is. The nuke flinger is definitely the most powerful, and I think it's actually the X-rifle. I might be mistaken on that. But yeah, basically, the firepower gets ramped up to stupid levels in the mod pretty quickly. Like, in truth, there's not really too much reason to use the sniper rifle in the mod, with it having lower damage than the regular rifle, and regular rifle is actually fairly precise. Okay, come on, where the hell is anything else? Yeah, it's like the mod learns to avoid, or the dinosaurs all learn to avoid you as you keep playing the mod because you just keep massacring them all. Okay, I guess we're going to work up to the north because that's, like, the only area of the map we still really have to go. So I want to make sure... Okay, yeah, nothing really around us right now. Yeah, you know what, I'm going to use the trick of the beach again. It just makes it easier to keep watch having an area that you can kind of, like, rule out as you're going to get something to coming in from behind. But yeah, I was 
kind of surprised how easy the Suko was to take down. I'd love to take down more if they would actually be on the map somewhere. Well, it does seem just take a lot of running around and wait until you tick something off. Okay, how are we doing time-wise? Yeah, we'll try to get one more animal and then probably end this episode here. I'm basically having to use a little... A uh, little wristwatch with the stopwatch feature in order just to track how long the recording's going on for. I... Having the second monitor is such a nice quality of life improvement. You really don't realize it until all of a sudden you don't have it anymore. God, come on. There's gotta be something somewhere. Haven't even seen a Nano Tyrannus yet. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> yeah, it seems to be the hardest part isn't about finding, or isn't about actually like taking on the animals, it's just finding them in the mod. Oh, there's actually a little bit of a hill here. No, just top. I was... Just because it was the only bit of terrain, or well, like the topography on the map, that I was going to say, okay, you know what, this is a course where I'm going to get ambushed by something, and... Actually, wait, I don't even think we've been killed yet in the mod, have we? This might be the first mod that I've played where I haven't died within, like, the first few episodes. I may be mistaken, of course, but... Like, I have nothing... No replies from the Suko call. I'm actually into an area that has a little bit of, like, hills and terrain. But even then... This is... Oh, this is a weird hunt. Oh, finally somebody else. Okay, too close for comfort. Bye bye <laughs> Actually, I think I just need a one-shot take him down. I think only... Yeah, it looks like only one or two shots might have actually made it from the expo to him. It's... Hard weapon to actually really utilize properly. But at least there's another little bit of points we can cash in on. Ah, you know what? I think I'm going to actually just end things off here. Like, Oh, there's another one way out there. There we are. And because you were flapping around making me think there's something else around, you can go down too. Oh man, these guys are actually huge when you take them down. They don't look that big when they're just like flying around up there, but when you bring them down to ground level, they are fairly big. So with that, we're going to head back to the menu, and let's see how we're doing for our jackpot. Okay, so we're back in the menu, and... I mean, we do have the sniper rifle opened up, but yeah, like the heavy machine gun is the third strongest weapon, but it still does a whole crap ton of work for you. So, oh, uh, we're just 50, well, okay, 41 points away from the Alamosaurus as well. But basically, it's just going to be run and gun for a lot of these. Well, now that we're able to go after the Sukumimus, although, see, he's only worth 18, so it's not a lot, but still... Yeah, this should go fairly fast. 
once we can start getting into, like... Now, if we can take down the Giga Notasauruses, everything's going to go ridiculously fast from that point on. Because, like, they're 50 each. Like, look at the jump from 25 all the way up to 50. But for now, we'll end this episode of Carnivorous Mill Islands here. Thank you guys very much for joining me on this episode of the series. If you did like the video, be sure to give us a like. And if you have any comments, tips, or tricks, be sure to leave everything in the comments right down below. Until I catch you all in the next video, those survivors, please remember, as always, to take care and stay alive. <laughs>